Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. A few weeks ago I have released a video that showed how you can get all the side pages of your site in a Power Automate flow. In the comments I have been asked if it's possible to use this method to copy all the side pages from one site to another. It is possible and I will show you today how. I have created one side A and one side B. And as you can see in on site A, I have created a few pages here uh, and these are not available on site B yet. Um, if we open this, it's a holiday page and a games page and a best doggos page. <laughs> so they are really cute. And I want to use the Power Automate flow to copy all of these pages from site A to site B. To be able to do that, we have to get the real ID of the site pages uh, list first. To do that, we need to go to PowerShell and use Connect PMP Online to connect to our site A. I've done this already here and I've described it more in the other videos. If you have connected to your site via PowerShell, you can use the command get PMP list and uh, write all of this in a variable and then just return that variable. And here you will see your site pages. This is your ID and this one just copy to a text file. Do the same for the second page that you that's your target page where you want all your side pages to be copied to. Don't be surprised, these two can be the same. Don't ask me why, ask Microsoft. Now that I have both IDs, I can go to Power Automate and start to create my flow. We'll create a new flow and it can be an instant cloud flow. I will use the manually trigger a flow action and start to create and in the upper left, I will just rename this to copy side pages from A to B. Then I will create a new step and look for the get items action. And I will need get items properties only. The site address, this is my source site address. In that case, it's site A. So my library name will be the ID. I've copied this already. This is the ID. And yeah, that's it basically. I will create a new step. I will go to control and then apply to each. The apply to each array will be the value from my get files action. I will add another action and this time I will the copy files. Here's the copy file action for SharePoint. The current site address will be again my source, it's site A. The file identifier, I can choose here out of the list. Identifier is here. The destination site will be site B. And the destination folder, this one, is actually easy. I can just grab it here with the picker and say side pages. At last I can check this option, what to do um, if a file already exists here. I'll just copy it with a new name. Then I go to save. I will test it. I go click on manually test, continue, run flow. As we can see, this can take some time and it's done. So let's look to our site B 
we will just reload this page. And here we see it copied all my uh, pages from site A with the content. Well, I hope I could help you and, um, well, I hope I could help you. I hope you've learned something. And if you have any more questions, just leave it in the comments and I wish you a great day.